It's match day 14 in the South American World Cup qualifying campaign. It's been a long and arduous campaign for Venezuela. That campaign is going to end in disappointment. They are bottom of the 10 green group. But for Peru, well, they could still make it to Qatar next year for the World Cup finals. Andre Carrillo. And it might drop him here, as it does. Van Kuhler on the overlap, the low ball in, and it's only just wide, inadvertently, behind for the corner. Peru's first attack of note was driven in hard and low by Advin Kula. Came off Osorio, last of all. It's turned from Tapia. Might be able to get the shot away here. Baroness with the initial save. Here's the chance for at Peru. Side footed shots which Farinez was able to block from Carillo. Yotun. Away from Moreno. Knocked back by Lapadula. Lapadula recovers his footing. Cueva. Can he work it across to this near side? He can. Carrillo. In towards the masked figure of Lapadula. Who, despite the mask, applies the finishing touch with his head. Well, that may well have come at a bit of a personal cost as he keeps adjusting the mask. Peru just kept going here, and Lampadula, who'd initially made a slip in the right place to head it back across goal, and Fananes couldn't keep it out. And Peru strike first with what could be a hugely important goal for them in their World Cup qualifying campaign. Victory here tonight, we'll see them really start to challenge for a top five finish. Savarino. Trying to think there might have been a shot there. Turned in by Hernandez and arriving late with the equaliser is Darwin Macis. Nobody picked him up and Venezuela get the equaliser. Well, this is a rare goal for them in this qualifying campaign. Just their ninth. Keep your eye on the top of your picture here. Because the run is made late by Mackis. Nobody saw it. Nobody tracked it. And he was able to bundle it in. It's all square. Peru one, Venezuela one. Christian Cueva stands behind this free kick then for Peru. Like that, Savarino is going to take the railway sleeper roll. There it is. Cueva looking to curl it, got a deflection, and in. And Peru are back in front. And their top scorer in this World Cup qualifying campaign strikes again. It's his fifth goal in qualifying for the 2022 World Cup. And now they have to try and hold on to it. And it looked like it came off a Sorio. That would have been Aristocoeta, actually. 
it was, the tall striker. Fernandez wrong footed. Rincon spreads it to this near side. Asurio. That's a handball, is it? Yes, it is. Handball by Miguel Trauco. Just inside the penalty area. Clear as day. He scored already. And Darwin and Bacchus get a second equaliser for Venezuela. Marcus against Galeze. And the goalkeeper saves and it's cleared away. Huge, huge save for Peru in the context of their qualifying campaign. They say going the right way. The rebound scrambled away. It's an excellent penalty save.